Oh, yeah. Russ's 3D filament extruder. This is like I literally just got done filming the other video, but I'm going to be extruding this now, and this is going to be a second video. So, Russ with RWGResearch.com. Russ's filament extruder copied after a couple of other versions on the internet um, with my own little details. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I've never fired this up, but I have here some ABS pellets. Okay. And I'm going to be filling this up, and I'm going to see if we can extrude some stuff. Um, these are new chips. Um, an individual um, donated these. I paid shipping. Uh, you know who you are. Not going to mention your name. You know who you are. And we're going to stick it in this machine. And we're going to see if we can extrude some filament. Um, the first test is to just see if my temperatures are even close. So I'm going to do some calculations. I'm going to fill this up with ABS. Turn my camera on. And we're going to see what happens. So we'll see you shortly after this thing's heated up. Wow, that's some great refresh rates on these temperature controllers. You can see how hot this one gets. It gets hot real fast. I mean, it'll overshoot, but once it gets up there, it'll it'll balance out. I'm gonna put some safety glasses on. Oh no, all my good ones are inside, I guess. I'll put them on in a minute. Now I've got this one set at 300, and I'm doing that because I want to basically preheat the plastic. Once the plastic is preheated, it will get to its final temperature is this one out here. Do, 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 do. 21 minutes has gone by. I only got 20 minutes, 28 minutes of film left. The battery. So we'll get another battery. Oh, I see some. Here it comes. Oh yeah, I need to turn that up. Yay! There it is. The first the first squirt. I'm gonna turn this auger bit up. See if we can get some really coming out of there. It's plenty hot. It's not burnt. I want to turn the temperature down. Turn it back down to like 400. That's plenty. I want to turn this back up. 360. Yay, looky there. Now this is not the right size diameter, but point being is I'm extruding. <laughs> All right, yeah, I should be wearing gloves right now, but I'm not. Hey, this is awesome. It's working. <laughs> oh, it's it's really hot though. 
like as far as it not cooling down fast. I need to get a fan over here. Right, I'm just going to let this sit right there and see. Watch it come out. I need to turn my temperatures down. I can tell. <laughs> oh, this is great. I've been waiting for a while, and I know all of you have. I need to turn my temperatures down so it's actually... I think they run at, like, pretty lower, pretty low temperatures. Because when it comes out, they keep it straight, and it'll cool off almost immediately. It's pretty soft. And I can turn it up too, speed wise. That may help it. Well, we have built a homemade extruder. It's not necessarily filament right now, but it's extruding. That is pretty exciting. I'm going to find me a little fan. I'll put a fan up here. See if I can get it cooled off. I brought a different type of fan with me. Put some there. Oh, maybe I, maybe I left it. Thought I grabbed it. I really need to get this closer. <laughs> there you go, look at blowing it over. <laughs> um, I think that's too much air. That's still so we can turn this temperature down even more. I'm going go down to 375. If I had this temperature higher, plastic would already be hot. I'm going to bump that other one up to 360. There you go. 
that's a that might be a better temperature it's a little bit a little bit harder it's some good plastic really should put gloves on though. Don't do what I'm doing. I really like this plastic. It's like a... It's a really flexible plastic. It's not like anything else I've seen. <laughs> That's good stuff. I don't know exactly what type of ABS it is, but it is a type of ABS. Alright, I guess it's time to do some studying to figure out how to, and I'm using a different kind of plastic, but basically how to, uh, how to extrude it a little better. I guess that's the end of this video, Russ's filament extruder. Yes indeed, it does extrude filament, but it's got some work, um, I'm going to have to incorporate a few other pieces of systems here which I knew I did I just wanted to make sure it even worked so peace and love to you guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it and uh, a successful extruder home built I'm liking it see how many pellets I filled it up to the bottom of the rim of this so uh, one inch amount is about that much plastic <laughs> it's pretty good Alright, peace and love guys. Have a good day. Let me know what you think in the comments. Peace. I'm playing with my set points. I'm at 356 with a fan. And it's working out pretty well. I'm, I'm pulling it, but... That's as fast as it'll run. See how many feet per minute that is. Let me set the camera up, I'll do a little calculation. Alright, with the size filament that I have right now, which is not the right size, do a little test. One minute. Alright, that's one minute. I'm going to turn this down. We'll cut this off. And see what we got here. This is the piece that I got. Out of my marks. Let's measure it. Forty three inches. And I don't have my mics out here. I'll have to figure out, I'll have to actually check and see what size diameter this is. Because, uh, 
it's not 1.75. Okay, it's pretty good. It's a straight piece, and that'll work. Roll that up. All right, I'm gonna go measure this. I'll be back. All righty. So I measured my 43-inch piece here, and it is about 2.8. Or I'm sorry, 2.3, I know it's upside down, 2.3, 2.4, 2.35, is pretty good after it cooled, 2.5, and it, <clears throat> it's a little off size because of the way it's fallen on the floor, but you get an idea, and at that rate, I'm extruding 43 inches. So I had actually brought a piece out here. Let's see if I can find it. Now oh, here it is. This is the size difference. You can see I've got a lot smaller to go. So this is a regular piece of 1.75 millimeter filament, and here's the stuff that I extruded. So I'm gonna have to make my my die here a little smaller, which I'll do. And I probably won't make it quite as long here. It'll be smaller than that. I don't know. I might. I kind of like it. So, yeah. That's what I got for you. That's actually the size when it went through. But when it came out, it swelled up, I guess. Because this is almost the exact same size. So, yeah. Oh, there's ribs in there. No wonder. There's ribs inside that thing where you can drill bit went through. That makes it that makes it bad. That's gonna change things a lot. So once I get that nice and smooth and polished, that should work even better. But just wanted to give you a reference. And uh, now you know you've seen the filament extruder work. Cool. And at max speed, turned it all the way up, and it still is still is extruding so that's a good deal alright that's it cool see ya oh so I uh, I took the tip off because I want to take this off because I know the sizes aren't right and uh, that really makes it easy to change Plastic's still a little soft, it's not sticking to it. That brass is slick, I guess. Cool, huh? And I should be able to pull this whole entire plastic thing out completely in that same exact fashion. I'm going to see if I can pull just a little out. Get it off the edges. Oh yeah, it's not sticking. That's good. That way, when I get my new tip in there, I know it's not hitting any plastic. That's awesome. It's not sticking. It's just right. So, good deal. 